is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some brand new wwe action figure reveals from ringside fest 2020 it was ringside fest at home of course a few days ago we did talk about this and what we expected out of ringside fest and i think mattel went above and beyond guys i'm really really excited to show you guys all of these images i mean my god they absolutely crushed it like i i'm overwhelmed with how many amazing figures we got today and i don't even want to talk about it anymore i just want to show you guys so that we can get into the into the deets of it and all that stuff. We have a ton of stuff to get through, so buckle the hell up, Brad, because we got a long one in store for us. So let's go ahead and get started. I honestly don't know where to even start, guys, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and start off with a figure that I think everyone is just very, very much looking forward to, and that is going to be the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Look at this figure, guys. It looks incredible. I think that we definitely have a front runner for figure of the year. There are some figures that are going to compete with this spot, but straight up, this this Hollywood Hulk Hogan is everything that I think everybody wanted it to be. My boy Rocco did point out that he doesn't have two sweet hands, which isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but it would have been really nice to see. But the cloth NWO shirt, the lightning tights, the head sculpts, the, the torso, I mean, this guy looks amazing. I think this is going to be an easy figure that everyone is going to be searching for. I guarantee it's going to sell out on ringside really fast, guys. So as soon as this thing goes up for pre-order, you want to go use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% and put in your pre-order. I'd probably buy two or three of them. I know it's probably going to be $40, $50, but it's going to be worth it. This figure right here is going to be a banger. I mean, you can tell by all the lightning, all the details. I'm not a big, I'm not a big Hulk Hogan guy, but Hollywood Hulk Hogan, that's super nostalgic for me from when I, you know, I was a little, little kid first getting into wrestling, and holy Holy crap, this figure is amazing. So this is a beast. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. No doubt about it, this figure looks incredible. And Hollywood Hulk Hogan had to be the first figure that we talked about, guys. Let's dive into the next Ultimate Edition, which is going to be the Fiend figure, which also looks amazing. I think they did an excellent job on this Fiend. He is going to come with his Universal Championship or his Fiend Championship that was supposed to represent the Universal Championship. And it looks really good. One thing I will say is in a couple of these photos, he looks pretty stumpy, like kind of like his Elite figure. It just looks like his legs are too short or something. And he just kind of looks like a like an insane clown posse fan at a crazy concert or something. He's just kind of slumping, dumping right there. So I don't know. We may need to fix that up a little bit. I don't even know how we would, but he does have some new boots in here. He has like the boot covers over it. You guys can see the toe articulation on the theme figure, the double jointed arms, the interchangeable jacket arms, and he is going to have an interchangeable head sculpt with the tongue sticking out, which is really cool as well. So the Fiend and the uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, both of these figures are going to be highly sought after. If you guys thought that Ultimate Editions were hard to come by, at least the good Ultimate Editions like Brock and HBK and then Finn and Triple H, I think these two are going to be really, really hard to come by. And I doubt, like, it's it's going to be difficult, man. So you definitely want to put in your pre-orders when they first go up, for sure. Put in that promo code MDTOYS to save 10% when doing that. But um, these two Ultimate Editions are amazing, and I cannot wait to see what they look like in person but through these photos dude they absolutely crushed it but let's get into the next few figures guys let's dive into elite series 82 and now again again there's a ton of stuff to get through so i'm probably gonna pass the hell out by the time we get through the video but this figure that we're about to show right now guys is elite 82 finn balor we're diving into elite 82 and oh my god in heaven this figure right here is incredible dude i am so excited for this figure dude like oh my god in heaven this figure looks incredible dude look at that head sculpt they gave him the tapered beard that we've been waiting on the updated nxt finn balor the hand tat the back of the arms one thing i will say is they haven't shown us the front of the torso but from the looks of it it does look to be a ripped up finn balor torso it doesn't look to be the daniel bryan torso if you really wanted to crush my soul it would be this full figure but the the torso would be the daniel bryan torso i'd probably have to seek medical help and attention if this ended up being on a Daniel Bryan torso, but holy crap, man, this figure looks incredible. The head sculpt is immaculate. One thing I will probably do is I'll probably, I'm definitely going to grab a, a lot of them just because, you know, fix-ups and crazy stuff like that, but that head sculpt, I'm probably going to do a different version. I'll probably get BEW to sculpt on, like, uh, a little bit more hair just to have, you know, a version where he has the longer beard and the different hair instead of, because this is right when it was growing back after he shaved his head bald when he went on that trip. So, this Elite 82 Finn Balor is immaculate, dude. Oh my god in heaven, I 
I cannot wait for this. This figure is going to be in the running for figure of the year as well. 2019 Elite 74 Finn Balor won my figure of the year. 2020 Elite 82 Finn Balor could be in the running. It depends on if we get it before Christmas time in the new year. But moving on with Elite 82, guys, we also have images of Keith Lee. Now, this looks incredible. You have the regular Chase variant version. The regular Chase variant. You have the regular version, and then you have the, the, the Chase variant version. I almost said it twice like a dumbass. But you have the pink and silver, which is so cool, dude. I love the torso choice. I like the head sculpt. I like the accessories. Pretty much a perfect figure from head to toe. This is going to be on a lot of figure, you know, figure of the year contenders as well. I'm, I'm going over the figures that I think, you know, the people are going to want to see first and foremost coming in here. We are going to cover Elite 82 in its full capacity before we dive into Elite 83 or anything like that. But this Elite 82 Keith Lee looks great. Let me know down below, guys, if you like the regular version in the black and blue or if you like the pink and silver version. You guys know I got to go with the pink and silver, like no doubt about it. And I like it, dude. I, I don't have any issues with this figure. I think it looks immaculate. I really enjoy it. I think it's going to be great. I hope they put him on ball joints so he's really fun to pose around and we get that Keith Lee nice athletic articulation. So that remains to be seen, but this looks immaculate on paper, and I cannot wait to see it. Uh, next up in Elite 82, guys, is we do have John Morrison. Now, John Morrison is a figure we were looking forward to in the render images. They did go with the Fandango torso. Now, if anybody could pull off this torso, Fandango couldn't even pull off this torso, but anybody could pull off this torso, it would be John Morrison. If you've seen this man, he is unbelievably ripped, like under 8% body fat, probably 6% body fat. And he looks incredible. He is going to come with his entrance jacket. And one thing you could do with this entrance jacket is you might be able to put it on your Edge figures for an entrance coat. It kind of reminds me of Edge's entrance coat. It does have like some weird designs on it, but at the end of the day, I think it could work for an Edge for pick feds or photography or something like that. But this John Morrison looks great. The head sculpt looks a little bit off a little bit. Um, I feel like, I don't know, it doesn't look bad by any means. We didn't get a good zoom in shot of it, but me zooming in here, it looks okay. It's not perfect by any means, but we're going to do some John Morrison fix up on surgery and stuff, but I like the John Morrison attire and everything. He looks pretty good. He does have kick pad feet, which I'm just now noticing, but uh, really cool John Morrison. I like John Morrison a lot, so that's cool. We have Elite 82 Alexa Bliss with the first ever Women's Tag Team Championship. Now, I guess we're going to get Nikki Cross in the next couple series probably since, uh, you know, you got to have two Tag Team Championships to go with your Tag Team Champions, and her and, uh, and Nikki Cross were Tag Team Champions, so I feel like that would probably make the most sense, but Alexa Bliss looks good. I like the head sculpt and everything. Doesn't come with an entrance jacket or anything, but I don't think that matters. I like the green and pink and black. I like the head sculpt. This is a solid Alexa Bliss figure, and Alexa Bliss Bliss's feet are easier to stand up than other women's figures, so I am looking forward to that. And finishing up Elite 82 for today, guys, we didn't get any final images of Rob Gronkowski, but we did get some final images of the King Jerry Lawler. I like this figure. You know, I'm not a big Jerry Lawler guy, but I do want to make myself a Jimmy King, so if this is the first step in doing so, then yeah, we're going to like this figure. I like the white and blue. It's really clean. Like, it rolls off the figure really nicely. I like the hat, or the crown, if you will. I like the cloth cape. I like the white in it. I think it's a good figure. I like the head sculpt. You could even use this as an Attitude Era or, you know, Early Ruthless Aggression Era King on commentary if you wanted to. I know the haircut isn't the best, but I still think it could work. You know, I feel like it could work if you wanted it to. But there is Jerry the King Lawler. Moving on up, guys, we do have Elite Series 83. Now, we knew this would be the case. I'm just going to go ahead and knock these two out of the way. They did show render images of Trash Corbin and Sasha Banks. They didn't show us any updated images. We knew this would probably be the case. I covered it in the Ringside Fest video, like what I expected out of it. And this is what we got. It's the same images that we saw before, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but there are those. And then diving into the rest of Elite Series 83, we have Drew McIntyre. And this figure looks pretty damn good. It's very similar to his other figures, obviously, because Drew McIntyre doesn't switch up his attire that much. But you get the entrance vest, and you get the smiley Drew McIntyre head sculpt. And I think it looks like Drew McIntyre a lot. I think this is actually a really strong head sculpt. I like this attire better than his other one. He's got the iron, like, swords going across. I think he started rocking that when he beat Brock. So I think this is really cool. I like this attire. And uh, I think we are changing up the torso here. It looks like they're either going to give him the Macho Man torso or po It looks like it's going to be the Macho Man torso, similar to what they did with Matt Riddle, and uh, that, that's what that's looking like. I actually like this torso better for Drew McIntyre, even though the other one wasn't bad, but uh, I'd like to see a change in pace just to see what comes of it. And if they could change his torso, why, why can't they change AJ Styles, bro? What's up with that? But not only do we have Drew McIntyre, guys, we also have the regular version and the Chase variant version of Elite 83 Edge, which is a figure I was very much looking forward to. Holy crap in heaven. This is amazing. We have the regular version, which is going to be in his WrestleMania silver, black, and red gear. 
which looks really good. Head sculpt looks phenomenal, dude. This is a beautiful head sculpt. And then you got to think we are getting the Ultimate Edition. So uh, switching out the smiley head sculpt onto the Ultimate Edition, putting the screaming head sculpt onto this figure and vice versa. You could do a lot of cool things with those fix-ups and things of that nature. So I think this figure looks immaculate. I really like this attire. One thing I am noticing, though, is they didn't give him the chrome shoes, man. Where are the chrome shoes? We wanted the chrome shoes. They're not here featured in the figure, so that looks like something I'm going to have to do in surgery. Could change it. And another thing we need to fix is the torso. I don't like this torso for Edge. He clearly put in all that work. He was ripped up. He, he was shredded. He needs to be compensated for it, and I think it needs to be a hairy chest. So, honestly, we're probably going to either have to go with a Jake the Snake torso for the skin tone or possibly a Finn Balor with some uh, with some drawn-on skin tone. But I feel like they should have just recolored his whole figure because he was pretty dark when he came back. So, I feel like Seth Rollins would have been the perfect mold for this guy, except for the legs. So, maybe a Seth Rollins torso will work perfectly. But the Chase variant version is going to be his Guns N' Roses attire. At least that's what I'm calling it. The black, green, and red. This looks phenomenal, dude. I love all three of the gears. The Royal Rumble, the WrestleMania, and the greatest match ever. So this is uh, this works perfectly for me, man. I'm super hyped for the Elite 83 Edge. I have no issues with this whatsoever. Diving in next, guys, we have Elite 83 Dusty Rhodes. Now, there's one figure missing from Elite 83, and we don't know what it's going to be. I think it was supposed to be Velveteen Dream, but they pulled it, and we're going to see what comes of it. But for now, Elite 83 Dusty Rhodes is the last one in the set for now. And I like this figure a lot. If you're a Dusty Rhodes collector, I think you're going to like it. The red polka dots on the black tights. Really, really nice, man. I like the head sculpt and everything. They said they had this uh, this head sculpt sort of in their archives, and they kind of pulled it out, and they put it together to make this figure happen. So really exciting stuff for Dusty Rhodes fans, and this looks awesome. I like this Dusty Rhodes. I only have like one or two in the collection, so adding another one will be amazing. Elite 83 Dusty Rhodes looks really good. Like the boots, like the attire, and like the overthrow there with the necklace. Moving on up, guys, we have some more figures coming in, and this is going to be Elite 84 Zelina Vega. This is going to be the Target collection. Edition exclusive Zelina Vega Elite 84 figure. I like the way this looks. It's a free, pretty solid figure. You guys know they like to do the women's exclusives and stuff. I really don't know why they always do women's exclusives or flashback exclusives. I feel like they need to probably switch that up sometimes for, you know, people that mainly collect women and people that mainly collect collector's editions. It makes it really tough because I never get to see a collector's edition at the store. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. Unless they start putting them all on shippers like they've been doing with Undertaker. I saw like a million of those. So maybe they'll do that with these. But we have Zelina Vega who looks really good. Next up is Elite 84 exclusive Sheamus. Now it says exclusive Sheamus. I'm not sure why it says exclusive, but it says exclusive. So I, I don't know what to make of that. I guess we're just going to have to see. But this head sculpt looks really good for Sheamus. I like the accessories. He is also going to come with a cloth t-shirt, they said. So Sheamus looks really good. The head sculpt is phenomenal, dude. This may be the best Sheamus ever made. I feel like every figure that gets made, it probably is a step up from the previous most of the time. But there is Sheamus. I like it. I like the skin tone. He's going to be great. Sheamus figures are pretty underrated, to be honest with you. So Sheamus is looking good in Elite 84. We called this actually in our leaks. If you guys go back months, we knew that we were getting a Sheamus. And this next one is Elite 85 Carrion Cross, dude. We called this one months ago. Do you guys remember that when I said Elite 81 through 85 leaked? I'd like to go back and look at how accurate that list was, but I know for a fact Cross was in Elite 85, and now here he is. And he is looking damn good, man. I'm not a big Carry and Cross fan, but this figure is phenomenal, and it looks just like BEW's custom. If you guys remember the custom he made, this looks identical to it. So it looks really good. The tattoos look good. The head sculpt's phenomenal. Again, not a big Carry and Cross fan, but hopefully he can get healed up and uh, hopefully he can get back to action as soon as possible and maybe convert me into a fan of the guy. But his figure looks phenomenal. His fi his figure looks absolutely great. He kind of looks like a creator wrestler. Is kind of what comes to mind when I look at Carry but his figure looks incredible. And if you're a fan of him, this figure is going to fit right into your collection. Speaking of Elite 85, guys, we also have Elite 85 Undertaker from the Boneyard match with AJ Styles. This is so cool. We have the um, pretty much the last match Undertaker was in so far, and he has the bandana. He has a great head sculpt. I love the jacket or the vest that he's got going, the details on the pants, the gloves, the shovel accessory. Very, very nice Undertaker figure. I feel like the Undertakers lately, man, they have just been nailing it with the Undertaker. So this head sculpt looks really, really good. I like all the accessories that we're getting with him. I like the Undertaker figure a lot the bandana for sure and so I'm, I'm hyped to see what this guy looks like the likeness from here i can see it from a damn mile away so undertaker's looking really good in elite series 85 another elite 85 figure guys is going to be alistair black now this figure looks incredible as well I like that we actually got wrist tape on this guy this time. Uh, he has double black gauntlets, which look really good. And he's going to come with his entrance vest, coat, hood, which has like the devil horns or the big demon horns coming off of it. The only thing I don't like is that it's going to be rubber, you know, to get all those details. It is going to be rubber. Hopefully it doesn't hinder articulation.
position a ton, uh, especially on the legs. That's the big thing. Like with the trench coats, I don't really mind the arms if they can move fully like a vest, but it's mainly about the legs too, man. You got to be able to walk with these guys when they're coming down the entrance ramp. So hopefully this Alistair Black looks good, but his head sculpt and his body tats, he, it looks like they did add the rest of his body tats like to his legs and stuff and his torso. I, I can't remember if his last figure had all three there, but this one has all the updated tattoos, leg tattoos. He has his spiky kick pad. This is a great figure, and I know it's going to be highly sought after. Alistair Black's always one of those guys that everybody wants. Continuing on with Elite 85, guys, we have Elite 85 Liv Morgan. Now, Elite 85 Liv Morgan looks amazing. This is a really good head sculpt. I think this figure crushes her last figure, especially since it's going to have the updated articulation. I like the gloves. I like the interchangeable hands. The head sculpt looks just like Liv Morgan, and she seemed really excited about her figure on the little live stream that they did on ringside, so I can get behind this figure as well. So, I like Liv Morgan. I think she's a great talent, and I think this figure looks really good and I'm happy to add this to my collection because I don't even have a damn Liv Morgan so having this figure will be great I know it's Elite 85 so it's probably going to be a little bit till we get it but nonetheless I am looking forward to the Liv Morgan once we get it we have Elite 83 exclusive Michael Hayes now we knew we were getting a Michael Hayes we called it a while back and the red and the red tights and the red boots with the head sculpt look good I think this head sculpt looks good man I like the torso choice you get the sunglasses which are synonymous no doubt he's going to look like Dog the Bounty Hunter with those glasses on but it looks great man really great flashback collectors are going to like this again another exclusive but we knew it to be true. We've been calling it for a while now. So Michael Hayes will be in Elite Series 83 as the Collector's Edition. So we're still missing that one figure. We'll find out what that is and get that up to you guys as soon as possible. But Michael Hayes is looking pretty good. This one is really interesting, guys. This next one is an Elite 2-pack. And we have an Elite 2-pack with Triple H and Jeff Hardy. This is from when Jeff Hardy won the Intercontinental Championship from Triple H. And this is the Power Trip Triple H. So you can put this one your Stone Cold Steve Austin. You can put the World Tag Title on this guy in the gold tights. I've been waiting for a Triple H like this. The head Head sculpt looks really, really good. I don't know if they're going to use the same Ultimate Edition or if they're going to give us like a render or a re-rendered edition of the R3 Tech Jax head sculpt. That's really it's the best. It's the best uh, Triple H head sculpt to date, especially if you repaint it. So maybe this will uh, this will you know go right with that and it'll look good. The Intercontinental title looks good. We've gotten it in the past. The Jeff Hardy dude. This reminds me of this TLC pack, this Toys R Us exclusive TLC tag team pack that I got for Christmas in 2001, and uh, it had rainbow hair like this. And my dog actually chewed it up like a few years later. It's my favorite Christmas present ever. So seeing this figure just gives me super nostalgia. He does have his necklace, black arms like we've seen. And they gave him god dang mic holding hands. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it. You gotta give it up. You gotta give it up for the Mike Holding Hands. Now, I know they did give him Mike Holding Hands in his two-pack with Matt Hardy, so maybe they just reused these arms from the, the ringside exclusive Hardy Boys, the Brood two-pack, so I'm sure that's what the case is, but them continuing that and giving him the Mike Holding Hands again is, is excellent, so you love to see that. It's, it remains to be seen on his newer elites in the single line, but we'll see. But this figure is incredible. I am very much looking forward to this. So this two-pack is great. I love two-packs like this. I am for sure getting a lot of this because I, I gotta make fix-ups with that Jeff Hardy Bull. Continuing on, guys, we are not finished. We still have actually a lot to cover, so buckle the hell up still. Next up, guys, is Ultimate Edition 9 Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ric Flair. Both of these look great. Now, one thing I will say is they did say that Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to come with a t-shirt, a cloth t-shirt. I'd really like to see him come with beer cans or middle finger accessories. I highly doubt we're going to get middle fingers. I just don't see that happening. He's got a pointing hand. He's got fists. He's got uh, beer grabbing or mic holding hands. But one thing you gotta do, I gotta make custom middle finger hands for this guy it's just got to be done it has to be done i would love to see beer cans maybe don't even put like put steve weisers or put you know some regular wwe logos on the cans make them look like beer cans have them come with full ones and then have them come with some that are smashed and then have some you know drink spilling effects like we got with the uh the milk -a mania epic moments that would be beautiful that way we could do some sick ass photography and stuff like we kind of like we saw with the sh figure art stone cold from a while back i know this figure will probably crush that one but that is sort of the idea I'm having behind the accessories. I think that would be great, but these head sculpts look good. You have a pissed off head sculpt, which kind of looks similar to the one we've been getting with the Target Hall of Fame figure. The one that we've been getting forever that I said that I really wanted a new head sculpt. I've been dreaming of a new Stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt, and we got two of them. You got like a laughing, mocking, laughing head, then you got a pissed off, yelling face, like promo cutting head, and then you have the pissed off straight face, which looks pretty much just like the one I said we needed to get rid of, so I don't know if it'll be any different. Maybe the true effects will make it a little bit different, but Stone Cold looks great. Ric Flair looks great. I 
guarantee that Ric Flair will have a nice, beautiful robe. Actually, I guarantee it. So he will have the four horsemen hands. He'll have the mic holding hands. He'll have the finger pointing hands. And he is going to come with a woo head sculpt. So that is awesome as well, as well as the World Heavyweight Championship. I like the purple attire. I love the light purple boots. So this figure looks good to me. Can't wait to get Ric Flair in here. I don't have a really good Ric Flair. I have the Retro Fest and that's it. So I really need some more Ric Flairs in my collection. This one will do very well in that case. Moving forward, guys, we have a new ringside exclusive. It's going to be a ringside exclusive Ultimate Warrior, and this looks amazing. Now, again, I'm not a big Ultimate Warrior fan, but this attire is beautiful. I've always loved this attire. It's kind of like the tie-dye comic, sort of. I don't even know how to describe it, but the blue and white with the red and yellow looks so good on this figure. I like the hair color. The entrance vest looks great in the cloth. Very, very nice details with the gauntlets. This thing's a beast, man. This thing is a beast. And again, I'm not a big Ultimate Warrior guy, but when you put a good figure in front of me, man, I can definitely get behind it, and this one is the real deal. I like it a lot. If you're a Warrior fan, you're gonna really enjoy this one, no doubt about it. The way this figure looks, I'm not very hyped that it's a ringside exclusive. Really wish it would have been in a different line, but, you know, I, it's all good. You know, we've had some kind of newer guys be in the ringside exclusive here lately. You know, we got, we got Bray Wyatt, we got Walter, we got Edge, so having a flashback here will be completely fine with me, and it, at least it looks good. I like, I like the attire and everything, so that is nice. Now, moving on, guys, we do have new images of the Fan Central Series 1 Elites. Now, these are really cool. I know we voted on these, so let's go ahead and buckle up again, man. So, starting off first, guys, we do have Seth Rollins in the Fan Takeover line. You guys will notice the packaging on these, and I love this packaging. You have, like, the yelling fans behind the Fan Takeover logo with the blue and yellow packaging. These are going to stand out on shelves, I think. They kind of remind me of the new Marvel Legends X-Men figures, kind of, is what it kind of reminds me of. But this figure looks great. I like the Seth Rollins attire. It is the WrestleMania 35 attire where he defeated Brock Lesnar. It is kind of weird that he doesn't come with the championship. You would have thought he came with the championship, but uh, he has the same Seth Rollins head sculpt that we've seen. But I like the attire. I like the vest as well. Vest looks good. Attire looks good. I already have a custom of this figure, but bringing this into my collection, I will have no you know, issues with it. I have the Beast Slayer t-shirt. I could put on one of these as well. And I like it. I like the Seth Rollins. I'm a Seth Rollins guy, so any Seth Rollins we get will be completely fine with me. It actually includes the results of the poll on the back of the packaging, which I think is really cool as well. So it looks like the WrestleMania 35 beat out the Survivor Series by 2%, and then it beat out the SummerSlam by 4%, which is crap, man. I really wanted that Thanos attire, but you know, here we are. Next up, guys, it's everyone's favorite figure in the world. We have the brand new Fan Takeover Series 1 Elite Adam Cole. And man, oh man, it just disappoints me, man. Not gonna lie. I mean, the figure looks great. I like the attire and everything, but damn, man, what could have been, man? What could have been? I like this attire, though. I do like this attire, but you can't tell me that we shouldn't have got the War Games, man. Let me look at this poll real quick on the back. NXT take it beat out the War Games by 3%, or less than 3%. Good God in heaven, man. I mean, what do you do? I still like the yellow and red and white and black. It still looks really clean. I'm still going to have a lot of fun with this figure because I love Adam Cole and I love his figures. I'm definitely going to keep collecting them, but gum, man. How close were we to get? in that war games now we're gonna have to wait forever on it so i don't know when these are supposed to hit but this is a figure that i am still looking forward to even though we didn't get the attire we want i like it it's the same elite 71 head sculpt next up is ricky the dragon steamboat and i feel like we just got this figure in the flashback i know it wasn't just we didn't just get it but the flashback walmart exclusive ricky the dragon steamboat figure does look good or it, that's not this figure but it looks identical to this figure so i think everything looks good on it it's a white attire so you guys know i'm behind it it looks like the the wrestlemania 25 only got five percent of the vote but this one did crush the starcade in the seven percentile on the back of the packaging but i like it plain jane figure but i like it for parts and things of that nature he's also on a finn balor torso in that skin tone so if you guys want to do anything with that but who knows how obtainable these figures are going to be we're going to have to wait and see but ricky the dragon looks good and then finishing off this series guys is going to be Shayna Baszler now her head sculpt is identical to her last head sculpt, which every every figure in this line is pretty much identical as, as far as head sculpt is concerned. She does have an updated NXT championship. They actually painted the NXT in silver, so that's nice to see. She has the black, silver, and red attire, which looks okay. You know, I, I, I like the double-jointed knees. I can't remember if... I don't think her last figure was on double-jointed knees, so this will definitely be superior. And this attire won the vote by 2% over the other two at 32%. So that's interesting. I hate a hole in the front of the 
packaging, she has her hair down, and then on the figure, her hair is back in a ponytail. It would have been cool to see an updated head sculpt, but I understand it. But there is our full Fan Central Wave 1, and I think they all came out pretty good. Besides the War Games attire. Unforgivable. All right, guys, coming up on the last few things we have to cover here. Starting out first, guys, we have the brand new Royal Rumble Elites that will be available at Target. If you guys remember, we did say that these were coming. We leaked the news, and it tended out the whole series to be right. So the first one in the set is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin in the gold and black attire. So this is going to be Royal Rumble 2001, which I love to see. I feel like this gold may be a little bit too bronzish. It kind of looks bronzish instead of gold, but a quick repaint would not hurt if I had to do it. And on the back, it doesn't have any of the text on the back, which I don't like. I think it's because it says alcohol-fueled, and I guess they didn't want to put alcohol-fueled on the back, which I understand it, but daggum, man, would have been nice to see. I like this head sculpt. It looks like it is the basic 100 head sculpt on this new Elite figure, and it looks good. I really like this figure. Hopefully, it doesn't show for him. I think, you know, I'm definitely going to be buying a lot. Of, I'm, I'm a huge Stone Cold fan, one of my favorites of all time, so I have no issues with this thing shelf warming because I'm definitely going to grab it. I'm just saying a lot of people may not like it because it's kind of plain Jane, but it's Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I feel like his figures sell pretty damn well. And it looks like they did shrink down the size of that basic 100 head sculpt on this Stone Cold figure, but man, I like it a lot. And yeah, th this is badassery, man. Nostalgic is F for me. Next up, guys, is going to be Titus World Slide, and he is in the Titus World Slide uh, attire, which we called. We called all these attires and the figures, which is pretty insane, but he's got the Rumble, Stumble, and Slide t-shirt on the, uh, you know, the Greatest Royal Rumble attire for Titus. I'm finally excited. I'm so excited that he finally is getting a figure, a guy that has deserved a figure for a very long time now, so I'm very excited for Titus to get this figure. I think it looks really good. I like the head sculpt. It's pretty much what his NXT figure was going to look like, except an updated attire. Plain Jane boots and stuff, but man, am I happy to finally get Titus O'Neil in our collections. I think it's great, and hopefully, uh, you know, he'll, his figure will actually come out this time, and it will be in our collections very soon. But Titus O'Neil commemorating a great moment and everything. Hilarious. Great stuff. Happy to have. Next up in the line is going to be Ultimate Warrior, guys. Ultimate Warrior with the Yellow Intercontinental Championship. This is pretty daggone cool, man. I like this a lot. I like the yellow attire. He does have the ba the new, like, he has, like, the new arm articulation on it, which I don't like, but the head sculpt looks good. He's got a, not only a full painted on face, but he has a, you know, battle damaged or a mid-match paint, which I like, and this looks good. I like this attire, dude. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not a big Ultimate Warrior guy, but this figure does look good, and I know Ultimate Warrior has a ton of figures, and they're, like, I can see, like, if you had them all up on the shelf, the kind of like my Finn Balor's or my Rollins or Jeff's, they would look immaculate up on the shelf. So if you're an Ultimate Warrior fan, which I know a few, I know that you guys are going to get a kick out of this figure, and I'm definitely going to get it so you guys can see the review of it, but Ultimate Warrior is the next one in the set, and then finishing up our Royal Rumble set is going to be the second Elite ever Umaga, and holy Christ on a bike, dude, this figure is amazing. I love this. This head sculpt is so much better than his last head sculpt, and his last head sculpt wasn't bad, but this one is amazing, dude. The yelling face. I, I love his tattoos. The red attire is beautiful. He comes with red elbow pads. We have needed red elbow pads for so many guys like Batista and Edge and Sami Zayn, and now maybe they'll be a little bit more attainable from this Umaga figure, and Umaga is looking great, dude. Oh my god. He comes with a Samoan spike hand. He's got the grabbing hands. He's got all his tattoo work. This figure looks great. I'm so happy that we're getting a second Umaga, and it's actually in a colorful attire, so this one will go great into the collection, and I can't wait to review Umaga. Next up, guys, we do have a brand new Elite 2-pack going up next to our Triple H and Jeff Hardy 2-pack. This is a WrestleMania 2-pack, and this is going to be Mr. T taking on Rowdy Roddy Piper. Now, we already saw the render images of these back in the day, but I love this, dude. You got the cloth robes. You have the great head. That Roddy Piper yelling head sculpt is phenomenal, dude. The lightness and all the true effects looks great. The Mr. T is immaculate as well. Can't wait to put this up next to my other Mr. T. It's kind of immaculate that we have two Mr. T elites now, but I love the socks. I love the boots, the shorts, everything. The boxing gloves, like, dude, these are crazy good. And you know what's even funnier? The boxing gloves are going to be interchangeable with regular hands. So if you wanted to put these boxing gloves on any other figure in your collection that has interchangeable hands, you could do so. So you could have a boxing match in a pick fed. You could have a boxing match. All, like You could do so many cool things with these boxing gloves. So I think that's even more creative and stuff. Hopefully these are easy to come by. I don't know uh, where these are going to sell. Probably just ringside. So this is a set that I'm excited for and I can't wait to review and, and get in here and see what they, you know, what they look like on other figures. But the Mr. T and the Roddy Piper look so good. But not only do we have that Elite 2-pack, guys, but we also have some more images of Elite 
Elite 81. Now, I'm not going to take a look at the full set here because we've been here for a while. But the figures I wanted to look at real quick before we get out of here is going to be Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. Because Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford are probably the figures we're most looking forward to in this set. And they updated Montez Ford's head sculpt. He looks like Jalen Hurts. And he also looks a lot better than his render image. Remember in his render image, it didn't even look like you could see. Like, it looked like his eyes were super squinted. Torso looks amazing. I think that's a ricochet torso. One thing I am scared of, though, is his lower legs and his ankles. It, he does kind of have, like, on those joggers or those skinny pants that he likes to wear in the ring. But the, the feet are kind of messed up because they have the John Cena feet, and those get really loose on us. So I'm kind of afraid of that. We'll have to see. But all the accessories look good. And I wanted to show off Angelo Dawkins because he does have his long red jacket. So I was trying to tell you guys that uh, maybe you could put this jacket onto your Montez Ford. So buy two of the Angelo Dawkins and then take your jacket and put it onto your Montez Ford. And uh, so you don't have that rubber vest accessory. A rubber vest is better than a rubber jacket, but I think the cloth jacket will still look really good. Hopefully it doesn't swallow up the Montez Ford figure, but that is the Street Profits and everything I wanted to cover about that. There was also images of the rest of Elite 81, like The Rock, Shinsuke, Bianca Belair. They also had these new WrestleMania basics. And finally, guys, getting out of here with these last few figures, we have the WrestleMania basic figures. And these, uh, let's just go ahead and start off with Ricochet. So Ricochet starting off, guys, he actually has a new head sculpt. And this one looks good. I still like this head sculpt. It's very similar to his other one, but he's not smirking or smiling. So this one will work out as well. I like the black and white attire. And if you guys wanted to buy this for, you know, your uh, your fix-ups and stuff, I think it would work. I like the I like the look of it. He's kind of like in a serious face. You also have Drew McIntyre in this set, which it's the same exact head sculpt before. And Drew McIntyre basics look weird. This one looks a little bit better. I don't know if maybe that head sculpt change kind of sat the head up a little bit more, but... Pretty plain Jane basic for Drew McIntyre. We also have Andrade who is doing like a smile. But it also like at other angles it looks like he's pissed. So like to the side he looks like he's smiling. But when he's sitting straight up it looks like he's kind of growling. So I don't know about that. I like his elite head sculpt I think a little bit more. And then the last basic that we have is going to be the Fiend. And he has a jacket on. So it's a basic Fiend with the jacket. And that is interesting enough. You have the black jacket, the kick pad feet. And it's pretty much just like his new basic that just released except he has a jacket on. But oh my god in heaven I think I've been sitting here for 45 minutes and I did my best to get it all up to you guys I had to wait on good images as well so I guess it all worked out me sitting here this long so I gotta plug in all the images and everything like that for you guys but <coughs> God, Nevin, that's what happens when you have a dry throat. But man, I think it was a super successful day, man. I really enjoyed all these figures. I cannot wait. I want to let me know down below if you guys want me to do a future fix ups video like we did last time where we take the figures and I show you guys what fix ups I'm going to do in the future with these figures as they come out. You know, what future surgeries and fix ups can we do with these guys combining them with old figures? Let me know if you'd like to see that video and let me know if you'd like to see a uh, most anticipated top 10 figures from Ringside Fest 2020. Which, you know, which, which ones do you think I'm most excited for? Or you can make a prediction for that down in the comment section below. As far as our shout out for today, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to somebody right here. For today's shout out, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to my man, Ty Goodridge. He says, when you said Ty looks good, I jumped with a smiling, sweating face. I thought this was hilarious because I was reviewing the Undertaker figure from the Decade of Domination. And I said, well, Ty looks good, and his name is Ty, so I thought I was saying Ty looks good. Funny joke, good stuff. So a huge shout-out to Ty for that comment. Absolutely hilarious. But I think I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. A lot of news, a lot of coverage, and stuff like that. Let me know what figure you are most excited for down in the comment section below. I would love to know. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.